So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock specifically. We're going to be looking at the Technologic Armor Set. This one's really cool because I love a lot of these pieces. The only piece that I really don't like is the helmet. And even then, I've seen people cool do some really cool things with it. So let me do my usual spiel and then we'll get to the armor, okay? So first and foremost, if you guys haven't seen, we already, re already reviewed the Casual Set for all of the classes. It's right here. We go through how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. And again... I do it for all of the classes, Hunters, Titans, Warlocks. We go through all of it. So if you are interested to see if you want to get the armor set or not, how it shaders, check it out. I go through all of that. I even show you quite a bit of shaders, actually. Uh, but Hunters and Titans, I've also already done both of your videos. It's right here. Both of them. You guys can check those out. Hunters, I really like the video. But if I'm going to be honest, the Titans, I think, stole the show just because this set, this video, Warlocks, you guys got some dope shit as well. I just really, really like a lot of the sets that I made for the Titan. That being said, the Warlocks have a lot of sets from other videos just because I've utilized a lot of the technologic stuff or I'm utilizing it in stuff that I've already done in the past. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's just look in this armor. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the arms and this one is a takeaway from the arc light set that I made for the Warlocks. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have it up right now. Definitely a dope video. I love this this set. I think it's super, super cool. And with the shader, it just looks even better. So for the helmet, Starfarer's hood is an easy choice just because I love this helmet. It's an easy choice because it goes well with the arc light robes. I love a lot of the color combinations that it has. It also has lightning going for her. Yeah, lightning going through the chest piece. Now I'm using the arms specifically because I want a little bit more of that like green uh, texture going around and the technology gloves do a really good job at doing that for the boots mind striders was an easy choice just because it looks fucking cool and again blue glow that's kind of what i need right now because the chest piece has blue lightning and that's kind of what i want to do and then for the bond street scholar bond again just because it's super super dope some of the like a lot of the pieces just look really really cool as a whole set i probably would say the helmet's probably the weird one just because there's not a lot of pointy bits in the whole set so i would probably just switch this out for probably the assassin's creed helmet just because that looks really cool and it probably would look really cool with this one but we're like let me know what you guys think about this first set as for the next one this one is coming from the thunderhead video it's right here this one's really, really cool. I really, really like this one. Definitely a set you can combine with other exotics, uh, specifically like the more default looking exotics, uh, specifically like not like the, oh, this is clearly like hive theme. This is clearly like, like technological theme. Actually, you could probably do a technological theme for this one as well. For the helmet, Wraith Trail Hood is such a cool choice because this helmet's fucking cool. The, all right, so the arms, we're using contender gloves with the technologic robes just because i wanted a little bit more of that blue color because if you guys haven't seen a lot of this is either orange or like a brown orange and the arms have that brown orange so i wanted to have a little bit more of that blue color in there obviously technologic robe is what we're using and then for the boots we're using the thunderhead boots and this is where it gets interesting because the reason i'm using the omnicronia is because the boots actually take the off color of armor sets so the wrath trail hood and the thunderhead boots would actually be different colors but because omnicronia just combines all of the armor pieces into one color that's why i'm using omnicronia and it's a really good shader unfortunately you do have to pay money for this one and then for the bond heart and basilisk bond honestly i would probably just tell you to switch out for just something else just because the blue that one blue spot just kind of is weird for me but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite sets that I've made this season just because it looks really, really cool. And it's very uh, modular, like you can switch out pieces of it and it still will look really cool. As for the next one, this is not from a video per se, but I have used it in multiple videos. I'm not going to put specific videos unless I specifically remember them. But for this one, we're going to be using the technologic boots because I immediately thought of combining the inspector robes with the technologic boots. So. For the helmet, we're going to be using Eye of Another World with Gaze Beyond Worlds ornament. This is an old ornament. You actually can't get this ornament anymore because this is from um, Warmind, if I remember correctly. And some of you are like, well, it doesn't matter because we still get ornaments from Warmind. Unfortunately, this is an ornament from the factions. So this is a faction ornament, which is unavailable in the game anymore. So 
that is kind of unfortunate because I know people are going to be like, well, I want this ornament, but you can't get it, unfortunately. Um, not saying I don't want people to have it. I mean, fuck, I don't care. Give it to people, but I don't have that power. As for the arm, Street Scholar gloves, just because the left arm is actually armored and the shoulder has a lot more armor than the right side. So that's why I kind of wanted to have a lot more on the left side than the right side, because if I had the armor set on the right side, then it would look weird. I mean, it wouldn't look heavy on one side, but for this set, it makes sense because the shoulder is already heavy. The arm being heavy doesn't like really throw me off. For the boots, obviously technical technologic with the inspector robes. I think these two look fucking great together. And for the bond, we're actually using siege breaker bond, which is really weird because I never use this bond specifically because I'm using the content continuum 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 continuum. Yeah, we're using the continuum alloy or, or we're using the continuum alloy shader, which is such a cool fucking shader. I really love this shader. And the reason I'm using the siege breaker is because there is like that, like really yellow gold and the siege breakers yellow that color will never change so i kind of just thought just fucking use both of them it's gonna look cool together so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we have the tekken regalia set pieces video for the warlock that i made i'll have it up right now this one is super dope this is probably my favorite set from that video and honestly my favorite set from warlocks in general just because it looks really cool it's a combination of a lot of things uh the hoarfrost sunrise is such a cool shader with all of this because it combines a lot of colors that i like but it's also because techie and regalia has blue gems that don't change color and i think it looks really cool with this set so for the helmet hood of the great hunt is such a good helmet for this because when you combine it with the celestine robes it kind of makes you look even more majestic and then when you combine it with the osmiomancy gloves it, it takes it to another level because I didn't mention this in the Tekken's Regalia video, which obviously I'll have it up right now, but the Hood of the Great Hunt is really cool because it has like the faceplate has like these like uh, pointy bits at the end of the helmet. And it looks really cool with the, the with the Osmiomancy gloves because it just kind of like makes it more cohesive. And then for the Tekken's Regalia boots, just because honestly you're going for a whole bougie look and I was just like, fuck it. We'll Tekken's Regalia is probably the most bougie set we have now. And then for Technologic Bond, the reason I have it here is because I didn't want anything too crazy because everything already is crazy. So I just wanted like an armor piece or a specifically like a like an iron band for that. And I think the Technologic Bond is such a good choice for that. I also have made another set for the Technologic Bond, which is the raid armor set pieces for the Warlocks. If you guys haven't seen, I'll have it up right now as well. This one's really cool uh, just because it looks fucking cool. Like, all right, so the helmet, we're using the raid armor helmet, obviously. For the arms, grasp of ears, just an easy choice because I want to have a dark color with the Omnicronia, like, plate armor colors because if, if, obviously you guys will see that, that there is plate armor right there. For the chest piece, Resonant Fury robes was an easy choice because I was that when I first saw this helmet, the first thing is... The first thing I thought was I want to combine it with the Resonant Fury robes like immediately. That's like one combination that I really, really want to do. And then the Forbidden Visage, because obviously we're going for like a Disciple look. I feel like these boots are really good for that. And the Technologic Bond for that as well. This one is super dope because again, it's very like fluid. You could use a lot of pieces for this one as well. And it's going to look really, really cool, depending obviously on the exotic. But most of the pieces that you'll use is going to be really, really cool. So... The other cool thing is the shader situation. So for this one, Cryptic Insignia for the helmet is going to make it completely black and it's going to make it look really, really cool. For the robes, we're actually using Orobos Glance because the Orobos Glance has almost the same orange color as the Omnicronia plate armor. So if you guys wanted to, you guys could actually like mix and match the Omnicronia with the Orobos Glance because again, it's going to have that same color almost. So... Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that I was basically getting a lot of the armor sets from previous videos, but you have to be aware if I'm pulling from other videos, that means I'm using this armor piece a lot because it's, it's good. It, like a lot of the armor pieces that I've seen for the, for the warlock specifically, like the arms, the chest piece, even the boots, bro, all of that shit looks amazing for the warlock. So for me, I think the warlocks win just because the pieces are a lot more I can utilize them in a lot more sets than the other classes. So 
Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Titans, Warlock, Hunters, let me know what you guys think about your sets in the comments below. Thank you guys for coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.